This little buffoon met a woman by happenstance that was heavily pregnant at the time of meeting her. Megami Tile Lomfazi from another man. The other man of which. Mega there for the whole thing. On some I'm gonna take care of our baby, blah blah. And then he made like Houdini poof, disappear. Somewhere along the way in this woman's pregnancy, Wanyamalela Lomuntu, nowhere to be found. So now this chick was basically facing what you call this being a parent by herself being a single mom right she considered adoption she was either a teenage pregnancy or very young pregnancy like just into your 20s like 1920 but just a young pregnancy could have been teenage or just entry level into her teens no sorry getting in her 20s and she did not have sufficient strength unemployed yet to work her first job all of these things ne? And so for her to be pregnant was overwhelming. Any baby daddy are gone. Me boyfriend proper. And it's like they were together for months. And then she felt pregnant. He then convinced her to keep the baby. And then she was, they were excited. He moved her into his apartment and everything. And then one day he was like, I can't. But, uh, this thing I'm going me. It's like a tight jeans. I bought it in a size 32 go shopping. When I came home, it was all of a sudden in Gaza. Every song I can't. I'm not ready to be a dad. What are you talking about? I'm pregnant. I'm not ready to be a dad. So what gappa chicken chicken? One gappa wabalega, this dude. He ran away from his baby mama. Here's this chick now pregnant out here considering adoption and all that jazz, right? Thinking maybe I'm gonna give it away. Angas, which means I can't, Mina, I can't be a single mom. I can't be a single mom. Can't be a single mom. And then somewhere along the way in this journey, as she's trudging through life all bereft about baby daddy's indiscretion, she meets this dude. Okay, Buanka and Nahona know. What are you watching? Hala Gatauba, Messiah. Dala Tandubu Messia Lomuntu. He's got a God complex in the worst way. Meets a gorgeous woman that I'll just be giving super fertile, super cute. There are men who fetishize pregnancies. Unalebana. Ba adling attracted the tubasari by imileng heavy. Like, I don't know what that It's a fetish. I had a friend back in the day that was pregnant, or the first one to fall pregnant out of all of us. She was just like 20 at the time of being pregnant type thing and there was a time when we were walking at rosebank uh as a scheme i live very heavily pregnant this chick you would think these dudes would be out just scanning their eyes at us that were flat stomached right this dude looked at this pregnant friend and he was like literally salivating like you would think attracted to the pregnant girl that guy the way that he ogled at, at my pregnant friend the way that that guy ogled at my pregnant friend I, we were confused on some either this guy pregnancy out here that is being taken away by a tsunami or he's got a fetish there are men who fetishize the fertility of a woman and especially when she is super young it's like there is something in them that i don't know it turns them on and this chick or this dude that was out here ogling at this fresh gorgeous heavily pregnant chicky this dude right otro shala cherry ailing heavily pregnant just because you fetishize her fertility and you fed, you love how it is that you, you basically walk into the room and some women carry horribly, right? Or oh, HR will be out here, because she's pregnant. Or my mom is too old and she's pregnant. Or the toes are bomb. Her feet bomb up, her hair, everything. Like pregnancy, I party some, some women proper, I but party guys, right? Pregnancy in a little certain women. Marona Labang, they carry it like a, hey, like a diva. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some women are, are beautifully pregnant. pregnant until I am type thing. Just a beautiful, perfect peach glow. And this chick had a perfect, a beautiful, perfect peach glow during her pregnancy. Azang akera hambi, like some females that I've seen in these streets. And this dude was attracted to that. So sometimes these men are drawn to indaba yoguti, umusega kulugabi, maumiti. Because some women will, like I said, unko hai kaba traka ka ofelas. Poko se vele se hole overnight because she's pregnant, right? And when she bounces, like I be, I be dark. I I told it dark circles around the nose, hoon, so around the eyes, hoon, so unje like you can't recognize this woman because she's pregnant. But then there are others who properly like where they blossom like a flower when they are pregnant. And this chick was like that, and so she was attractive. And there was this one dude at Rosebank that was out with his that was out here like following her on ogling. And I was like, yo, if fetish and gaga, I'm sorry, le if fetish boy, because you don't know if uchatile or. Baby, that is kipani. Oso shani chere miti kanga kaka. Oso o batlo bantate. 
on your shoulder. Yeah, no, but some men, when they see a woman that heavily pregnant, for them, it's like one, she's fertile, two, fertile, and two, she, she carries well, and three, give me see ya. Yeah, I am little messiah. I'm gonna rock up your rescuer, itty and chicken, out here in these streets that nobody else wants. So, what did he do? Lenjale. He was already an occult junkie. Do you understand? What was Sangana? Ne pregnant tigan chicken that carried really well. And this tigan chicken that out here he was fetishizing. Waba attracted to Yena and started to just sit around her. Like basically, Ogum Landelemva. I don't know whether he met her, Gom Sevetzing, whatever. She was she's not even Gom Sevetzing. Ogo Kasinya Hai. I could say, but this woman was just struggling. She was a young pregnancy, maybe 17 or just 20 or whatever. He starts to follow this chick around all over the show. And this chick initially made her unfunny because she had worries. She was concerned. Impiloike was messed up. Baby daddy had just walked out on her. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going. And she's also considering adoption. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, goodness, when you're that heavily pregnant, you can't even trust anyone at that at this stage because you're going to suspect what? Fetishistic my intentions like a man it must be a fetishizer you are a fetishizer do you understand what i'm saying yeah so this woman was not even trying to look at this bugger but you see that's the thing about motu otwiling out of his mom's womb already in jefela he's busy with namatambo say i've who manche i pull him out of the womb instead of he's like hit here we have woman already he's got dreadlocks mama puma out of his mama womb sele sangoma flat out goat's blood and everything mm. so umuntu ozifundi se imiti from that early abata ati lezinja no for an answer do you understand what i'm saying especially when they feeling gati hai suga obo nuku timi nangzok nagegela guka in tatwa teng haona baby dead uska tlong pora haona you get my point right this dude just looked at this chick and considered her basically kind of low-key arrogant to not be interested in him especially considering she was heavily pregnant with nobody out in these streets trying to lay ownership to the baby mm. so this disinterested woman this disinterested interested pregnant lady that's out here considering giving her baby away for adoption then because from the mother's birth canal yeah then makes a decision uguti uzom koza utamtaat First of all, I'm sharing your phone. I'm phone is sorry. No one says no to me because kids will like it to bump up from the get go. All right. And on top of that, you need a messiah. It will be out here con aiko. Where? What's your family saying to this embarrassment that you are? Oh, but that's a what do you call this thing? The damage or what? Basically, baby daddy kille sanya la twenty whatever. So, Oscar don't bore. But you see, the way that they say ungang bor when you don't come at them, now that they are shellering you like no man's business, it's not so much to say it in so many words. motivation. next time the one. So wamshange korobel. Tawangozo shaya icheri that is eight months, seven to eight months pregnant. Kakorobel. Nahan. I mean, it's bad enough this chick has got life issues. Now you are making her fall in love with you. Unfortunately, this chick did not have the hedge of the Holy Spirit. This chick was not Cindy Sanguified, right? She was not born again. So she could not resist the devil that he might flee from her. She did not have a hedge of protection. So like a tsunami. She just got taken by Snafi Sesa Otiampepo from birth. Yeah. And just fell in love. She allowed herself to fall in love and get convinced by that he got this. Right? Wam shela. Wa was an wam coma this chick. Wam wa buyang meeting a flying kick ba ye korobel. Ne pega mina pel. Chicky then fell in love because of manipulation spirituality. Right? Yeah. Ah, this is the tetrano. Cherry Enna is being promised mountains and earths being moved by this guy. This dude rocks up looking like, like I said, Messiah, right? He be out here looking like a good guy. I mean, goodness, would your parents not love a guy that finds you seven months pregnant and is prepared to go chata, prepared to go beg and lean? I mean, but what at this point are thinking, you're in the tagas here to go She's a ruined woman. And here is a guy rocking up on some, I got this. Minani grandi, ikamala mungu Frank Sinatra, I'm gonna do it my way. And I want to bagu bagi babazongi tanda tande. 
Yeah, I had to open for my cat. We're done now. Okay, so Abba Zaliba, okay, obviously, Abba Zomtanda, this guy. I mean, if your daughter is a ruined woman, Una 17, baby daddy, I got call. I, from now on, life is going to be rough, girl. And on top of that, Itaba Zaliba, they're going to have to raise Umtana, we're going to have to take her or him to school. We're going to have to buy Nesta, I'm in purity, baby formula, I'm a diaper, Yeah, we're going to be taking care of Umtana, you could not keep your panties on. Mm, yeah, Abba Zali already planning, I guess, for this chick to take care of this idiot and not idiot sort of this cheeky right the idiot is the guy mm. uh and and then here comes oh herein lies this false freaking messiah rocking up as a coco tagabo these chicken chickens on some okay so mean i'm keep my damages because that's not my baby but he's okay whoa i mean Aren't you as a dad gonna wanna open a bottle of whiskey with this bugger? Aren't you as a mama gonna wanna fipa him papa yana eka ka papa yang we am saba mo pleating lena ma eka na lon sa homo le mo kuku gaofela slaughter to celebrate you guti heba ntawe o pega uchama boy uze lai japti nu watata indo tagazie to that was ruined for life and now she said now man just like i said deal with so this chick out here falls in love with the dude on our summer monthly initially next thing the whole family be thinking he's the best thing since sliced bread baga you know you who you be already starting you should be getting him a goosebumps ninja oh god about the details of what it is that you are the phenomenon that you are and also to help you guys understand what it is that you are the phenomenon 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 Godo. The thing they pride themselves in, because you see, the devil, when he was falling, when he fell, Granshap, well, prior to the fall, what he said to himself was, I will exalt myself above the Most High and I will be like the stars of heaven. I will be like God. I'm basically going to be Mudim, right? There was something very seemly to people in the occult because they're like their daddy, the devil, about basically being God, to just rock up in the picture and fulfill the, the work of Jesus, the work of the Father, to just be Munghadi Messia Zela Moya Ohala Le La Bafunugu Ba God They want to exalt themselves above the star of heaven So this messianic complex of theirs Makes it such that Bafunugu Tandwa indeed just like God They want to be loved like God They want to be worshipped like God They don't want to be questioned like God They want to be sought after when literally nothing else gives Like in other words you know how people like to use the terminology the situation there is so long, but for divine intervention, divine intervention. Yeah, they want to be the divine intervention, and essentially, everything else fell apart. One moment else, I'm going on the left and the right. Abai konanga this thing, it overwhelmed and eluded everybody else. But me nanga figa, ngoba me, I'm omnipotent. It's written in God's word that what is impossible with man is possible with God. These people want to make your life impossible. A solution's impossible to encounter or embark upon by everyone else until figure heavenly music playing around in the room. They put themselves in a position to be the only ones solving an impossible freaking Rubik's Cube. Bazen su god. So Lendale, ya figen pilweni, ya abandoned either teenage pregnancy or just 20 years old. And he became Tela Maya Ohala Le Lang having listened to this forced a woman that was uh, I'm not ready minang funuk jo like gi hit hobo talk man I'm dealing with this situation lamp got when my baby daddy young waru young frost why has he left me why is he breaking my heart this chick is not ready to jol Crenshaw block to lagwa ke is what put her in this position in the first place Umiti I can ask her to sogyo to la vie vie I will have an end daughter a pregnant eh eh patung abut in kukhele ah no this guy was like what's got long bora ke messia ke munghad ke mundimu so I'm gonna exalt myself above I say kam stens yako and I'm going to be your god uzon ki tata eventually I love you just like Jesus has written in his word that we love him because he loved us first this guy is like I love you but you're gonna eventually love me because I loved you first. Get God. So this Oki wa create my feelings wa food wa chicken chicken, and this chick fell in love with him. It's usually just lust, but it it it, it is misconstrued as love. I'm tired again, lo chicken chicken, right? Uh, fell in love with this dude, and then this dude appeared like a messiah in this girl's family. But I'm tired. I was like, Hallelujah, I mean, This is our 
our Jesus. Yeah. Our Jesus. Because Lomuntu Dwai Luguba Umesiya everywhere he goes, including in the life of this woman. Manje, when you are God, but you are not holy. Hmm? When you are God, but you are not benevolent. You're not omni-loving. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, of course, with those character flaws, having a heart that is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Awuzo but faithful. And awuzo but omnibenevolent, truly loving. Of the person that you made promises to, you are a truth breaker. You promised Lomfazi, the sun and the moon, the world and the earth and the mountains. You promised a Yonke in South Africa on a silver platter. You offered a, the meek shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in abundant peace. That's what it's written, written in the Beatitudes. Essentially, Jesus Christ says that worship me and I will give you the earth. And he's going to do that. One day we're going to rule and reign with him for 1,000 years. Yeah. But this, these people are like, worship me and I will give you the earth. Just like Satan. But then he's unfaithful somewhere along the way. You know how the devil said to Jesus, worship me and I will give you the kingdoms of this world. The Lord literally says that also to us. Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavily laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Uh, for I am meek and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Lord gives us these promises because he knows he can fulfill them. He says, Isagi muzoplo, muzopumula, top of that, at the end of all this thriving of being with me. You will inherit F. Yonke. All the continents. Get a how girl. Get a how boy. That's what Christ says. And he will ultimately fulfill that promise to us. Mm. The devil, however, tries to make like God and throw, and says to Jesus in the wilderness as he is being tested, Worship me, Jesus Christ, and I will give you the kingdoms of this world. But what does Christ say? He responds by saying, Thou shalt worship no other God but the one true God. Indeed, right? Because the devil was lying. So his servants are no different from their daddy, the devil, the fire, father of lies. Now, but they promise you sun, moon, earth, and oceans. But they promise that my octopus in, in the Red Sea. They will promise you everything. Do you understand? But unlike God, they cannot keep those promises. So this chick was, of course, made lofty promises. I will love you. I mean, I know that you've been dished by this deadbeat baby daddy no-brainer. I will love you. Just let me love you. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. Oh, for no good, no good, baby, let me love you. That's this dude. I'm just singing this chick a ballad. Ingati, he is romantic or whatever. Promising her the sun, the moon, and the stars. And so this chick, this seven to eight month pregnant chick, gives this buffoon a chance. And indeed, initially, let buffoon, just like your daddy, the devil, eh? Who promises you the sun and the moon and the earth and the wealth of this world when you allege to him in your secret societies, when you sign over to him in the Illuminatis that you keep on draining across this uh, this planet of ours. Initially, he gives you the wealth, right? Initially, he gives you the, the cars, the tenders. He gives you the ladies. He gives you everything you want. He gives you clout and respect. Mm. because at some point we are gapa essentially you all need to eventually get to a point where you do a cost benefit analysis and you realize the thing that it costs you to be a devil worshiper it outweighs my benefits that you put in the grave and you are being caught up now with I'm a conscience in yes down the line you can prepare in a human sacrifice rituals the in a human sacrifice ritual if a cost benefit ratio is imbalanced in the worst way over the times in the long run the involvement in the occult it's a cancer that metastasizes rapidly reaching stage four and five quickly however before then un asymptomatic until their dying days are so they are so depleted and so diminished at the end of the, the reign of terror as occult practitioners said Abba Bonagali and when people find out what they did as well uh, the way was on a corner by the community the way Abba Ntubatanda Baba Bufunugba keep a vigilante king a corner Bufunugba Shamboka they want to bend them necklace them in the street uh, ransacking them they want them eliminated from their societies people eventually develop a great deal of hostility against people they come to learn are occult practitioners and they have ways of of, 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 of Zikipa there, there are ways that cause these people to basically call themselves out by Zikipa do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, very well. So ultimately, the cost to benefit um, analysis that they do, 
regret being done as late as it gets done then yields absolutely no fruit because by the time they are in regret in a severity of regret say go too late essentially they are dealing with ukara but they're telling them pumagi and it's content footy no find out through the 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 the, the, the telephone you have passed away yeah that's the cost benefit ratio it is basically zero to eighty percent it it's nothing ultimately all that which you gain is like dust in your mouth it's like you are eating got to our whole or just dust the boy refer lands a little bigger if it looks a juicy you go restaurant it does not matter because the food no longer satiates because you are eating cursed food you are not happy marano in the run-up to kiss up alone so these guys just like their daddy the devil who give you a horrific cost to benefit ratio now nah, well, they they promised the sun and the moon and the earth and the world to their victims they say grab me oc right oc what thing out here being given a, a a promise by some shady satanist then is told i'll marry you i'll take care of your baby this chick was told i'll marry you as my own child blah blah whatever it is that these little messianic men do when they come into the house of a person so he has won the favor of abazali and he has won the favor of entire family of this chick he has apparently rescued her from near death he has uh stayed her decision from to, of sending the kid up for adoption so bam keep dealing and now this guy's out there raising lomdana as his own and that became a thing for a couple of years mega content to tattoo fazi out of a pregnant lady right yeah so now she is his wife this bugger and you show use my son to me we are son that was but however i got time to god even in the slightest right on a label pillow but bobo look i'm honest i'm not just i told him got it out so because he is unfaithful right because what's on this chick from what the lord showed me i almost said came down with cancer but you don't come down with cancer you 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 get it you develop it whatever right um she's she's got cancer now when i like cancer this woman has got a disease and she's still young like still very young like as an umtana corner that was born maybe four years old at the oldest so somewhere along the way this unfortunate young woman gets some kind of cancer right it gets diagnosed and guess what this little bugger fair weather husband kabanga guys you are you are you've just been diagnosed with cancer and it's terminal like by catching late from what i saw right so she's incurable you all know how a cancer fight or a cancer journey struggle can how long it can take women can have it battling it for three years they can battle it for a very long time before it finally knocks them out right this chick out gets diagnosed with cancer and the doctors are like it's not looking promising and in the beginning of her diagnosis this dude thought that this chick would be out of the window within a year so he was low-key there for her but somewhere along the way in this sickness of this lady chica she just keeps pushing we are push alone to your strive we appeal the doctor said you got six months to live and she's out just still around in a, in a year but because of and all these things and because she's not going to linger indefinitely obviously she's dying this dude literally went and sat a, 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 a cancer patient down i mean yes you guys they're into the occult you are fair weather in the worst way here it is at this dude that promised this with this woman the sun the moon and the earth out just sits her down from what the lord showed me and tells her sisters you've got cancer you're dying and i'm sorry but i'm a man and i got needs imagine yes like it but he's like i'm a man and i got needs so you could wait for me to die i mean i'm terminal you know that i'm dying but i mean you've been dying for three years he literally went and told his wife 
that on a little cancer what talk and I've got needs and every sort of niyakula. So I'm funu tatum fazwe zbili that will stay right in this union. Uzo sala lom faz lona um after you have left and hape ungu mama sinom tana u le sing wana libzo la hareki bongani sino bongan la nasiam kulisa u bongani uzo tingu mama mase unge ko and mina ang angzo ko no gum konangi wan ubongani so I might as well just bring in umfazi omusha now so that I got try la bongani and so that now me as in to tangi be na my needs so that I don't feel the pressure and the pain so much of in that we go to yashona. You need a woman to zongi comfort again and ever at this particular juncture how this woman with cancer is feeling about this proposition. So you telling me that you want to come and bring a new mom to my son, and on top of that you are telling me that you also want to comfort yourself from my cancer by basically cheating on me and like splitting your attention onto another woman. Yes, Lomfazi, from what the Lord showed me, because we are fully dependent on this ncha, right? This dude, initially, from what the Lord showed me, this chick said no. She was like, no, I'm dying anyway, please just be here for me. Just go for it, like be, let my last years on earth, my last days, my last months on earth, be one's way that my husband was doting over me, and I oh. Just wait, boy. You will take a wife as soon as I'm gone, but just be with me. I know this dude, because this woman is out just sick, we are gula, and he feels some kind of uncomfortable way about having this conversation that's made her very sad. He then cause lesinja zia taga tamanyo ana ko utolo ya mutonang the cancer abut cho as if though the chick has not had enough. The dude then makes a decision. To uktagata umfazi mind control spirits. Ugumtagata ugutayo amgela is second wife. He goes and he bewitches this tigin chicken. Him taking a second wife. I'm on my way out. Why are you trying to parallelogram this thing? It's not like gi healthy. Soon I'm going to make it a linear relationship, a series circuit instead of a, a parallel one. Because I'm dying. It does not have to be a parallel circuit. And very soon you will be able to have just one wife. Emma, for me to die. And because he was uncomfortable with the hair in the life of a sick lady. What is I do to Uzum Uzum help along? Nyamiti, Uguti Amgele, this situation or either parallel circuit electricity where Umanga Kuma, this light, this one keeps on working. Umanga Kuma, this one, this one keeps on working. But with a parallel, with a series circuit, I get a Mount Kuma Lena. Nothing works. If, if you, if there's a switch in the, in a series circuit, if you disturb the piece of this one, there's no flow of electricity going on. But in a parallel circuit, electricity keeps on flowing. It keeps on flowing. If at all you switch off this light, this dude. I got full no mail. Oh, we could come at this light and then start a brand spanking new series circuit. Oh, funny parallel. This dude wants to go to life to continue to go on as normal. Enjoy conjugal rights. Oh, can't continue to have the life blown out in full with a wife that's perfectly um a functional. Oh, to honor my parents. I'm not a girl. I'm a poor lady. The toilet seat. I'm a as it's a madombolo, everything, and then also be there to lay down on a bed like a Nando's chicken every night. Ufuna a parallel circuit so that lo maga kotlela ikazi lo uzoba corner to even maybe you know ness this one when he is not able to deal with a cancer patient. Yo guys, get chilo gare di pilota bona ki ma fito ki me nodo mangu ha o. Rata satane, oh, sure, we kept like a diabolo say, Abu di Ocasse Bonnebo appropriate or inappropriate the situation. Ew, how on a ratula mutimu, hallo on so suban pepper, pepper from the mama's womb. So, of course, the pumong and ama sensitivities. Mm. That's what's good. I'll take him over to foster cherry and more hair shaggy tar. I have shaggy because that's the thing. This chick, I got cop on again. So, I got Vigel. He Holy Spirit, Nyamzuela. Ngoba Alaga Shoni from what I see now, but she's on her way out and she don't know Christ yet. So nja eke haika lo evangelizer wanabatu. A polo swe self for alomo evangelizer hore. A toka falatiba mutim. Ore hore mudimu aga mufa moto. Otro mufang gospel message. Hore at least 
What I told her to go to the moon because this chick is dying without Christ. Okay, she's passing away without Christ. Anyway, whatever. Here is the situation. Yeah, I'll tell ya. Intrizo ya mafindo, ne? Na ilenga intrizo ya mafindo. I'll just be wishing you cheru to embrace a second wife, and she does. She falls for it. She falls for it, right? She falls for this little status quo. And she's like, okay, fine, you can take me uh, um, while well, I am basically passing away. And from what the Lord showed me, this man, ulete a second woman, ne? Koto akaka mshadi, akaka, what do you call this? Akaka kipa malobola. He's just basically jollaring. He's testing the waters. He is seeing if this chick is going to be fit for purpose to be a second wife. Or umfazi omunye. Because so basically in this world, right? right? There's no order in the world of people that don't know Jesus. It's confounded and discombobulated. Let's add in tail before the head, all that jazz. So tail before the head is happening. They are having sex and what have you. girlfriend Lena. Uh, he's been jollering with his girlfriends, right? And you are about to the situation. I've got a wife. I want to take a second one. Because my wife is passing away. And so soon you will be the only one. And the Bari ladies that are happy to embrace this rubbish. Ne? He introduces them to this chicken chicken. Right? We have an introducer. And basically, my dying wife ne? He is okay with this. My dying wife is cool with the scenario, the circumstance. So imagining that this chick is going to warmly embrace them. Warmly embrace them. But you see, that's the thing about witchcraft. In a little twitches, little glitches, it's like deja vu in the matrix. It does not fully operate. Aban to that are under spells. Even if they appear to be gliding and sliding in something, something in them just feels in like, man, this is not my choice. It's off. So in the Eshaya is sharing a corobella somewhere along the way, like my ex nang nang yo, my ex boyfriend, unang dulang jisite ang turisite ka satan. Uh and every time I would dump him, I would inevitably re reconsider okay, reconcile ne? I would inevitably get back together with him. But every time after reconciling with him, I would always in my bones be like, but ang funu balana. I don't want to be here. Why did I take him back? There was always something in me that was like, why did I take him back? And I would have immediate regret. And we would stay together for a few weeks, a few months, and we'd break up again. And again, I'd get back together with him. And every time I would get back together with him yet again, why am I here? So that's how the witchcraft be. Like proper electric circuit shorting. Yeah. This chick's sorcery spell. Yeah, I'm sure. It electric circuit shorted on her, right? Mm. It shorted on the poor thing. That's what's good. And so because it's shorted, even though she agreed to embrace second wife vibes, when these other women got introduced to her, in Kizuyakeme obviously saw. She didn't give them attitude. Mara, she was still like, but I anifuni lentolena. Anifuni. And in the dream, I saw basically what would be the status quo of one of the women that he sent to this woman and I was in this woman's body. I was the one that was in this woman's body. I was basically living out this life because in real life I would not ever embrace this rubbish. Do you understand? So that could not have been me. And one of the women that this dude took over to his wife. First and foremost, the dream starts with me We were making out and falling in love. And I knew that he wanted to marry me and that he had another woman. And then he introduced me to this other woman. And then I go to the house. I lay down on the bed and I start to basically say to this woman, let's make out. Let's have relations in this bed. Essentially, what would be the equivalent of lesbian relations? What did that represent? It represented meshing in a polygamous marriage. You know, the whole concept of soul ties. So I was about to basically accept Uglalana, this chick, in a lesbian fashion, only because I'm sleeping with her man. And I'm laying down and I'm waiting for this woman to basically nah, start to get ready for business. Right? And this woman just looked at me. And she was like, give me a minute. I need to, uh, you know, uh, gather my energies. 
and in the dream i instantly developed a spirit of empathy like i started to feel what she was feeling and so therefore for her and i immediately felt voluminously ashamed of myself for being okay with coming into the household of a woman in some kind of terminal stage of cancer taking her husband and expecting her to be good whoever i was essentially wore an empathy and i became umfazi omunye dealing umfazi instead of a woman out here happy to ugyo cha twa ngobak dalang minangi mele iring yeah and in this burst out into empathy i then basically yeah i am i said i sit up in this bed because i was all licentious lascivious like out here giving sexy time i exited my sexy time energy and i sobered and i sat in a 90 degree angle on the bed and i was like god i was like to this woman god let's say this uh, body's name is jabu i was like god like proper i started to talk with this woman for real 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 and i was like i lento le jaba yenza yo i call right you are sick we are cool and like I, i don't know what's going on but I, this does not give it's not giving and as soon as i started to basically empathize with his wife what kind of color this chick what keep all the emotions that she's been bottling in and essentially i became like a therapist to her she was like i know i'm sick i'm so sick and and he's just he's insisting on marrying somebody else and in this song lento lena i took it in my stride ngoba we are ifuna he managed to convince me god but angazi why angakwazi kuma i don't know why he doesn't just want to wait for me to first die and she just like broke out into tears and i was actually embracing this lady on some yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take him angizom tat angizom tat it's okay i'm i'm gonna leave right ngizom shia I, i'm not gonna be with him i'm not gonna allow him to do this to you through me I, i'm not gonna participate in the mutiny against you i'm not gonna participate nay this what this then that scene where it is that i'm out here empathizing right then graduates over to where it is that this woman has now died she has now passed away ushoni right and mina as u this chick that was out here empathizing ne? then all of a sudden i'm like Oh goodness. Okay, we show need. And then because the wife died. And it, mind you, the death of Lomfaz Lona was sudden. It's like it was anticipated like in my dream when I was busy communicating with her. Mega sasa healthy. She looked like she still had a good few months on her left. Mega na mileage to muntu. She was not vomiting all up in my grill. She was standing up straight akuma nam. So, una na le energy. And yet, within like a matter of what would be seconds in my dream, she was suddenly dead. Megashonile all over random Sunday. So essentially what happened so I was not shown anything between the that scene and the next one that came on board but I would imagine this dude this chick went to Lendo Tayakon and was like hey dude I spoke with your wife and I tried to I'm get at the situation but gunsi mama I can't no am I right to kavale and maybe if I'm still around ungangshela afterwards but I, I can't be out here being the sorrow of a dying woman's existence. I can't. I can't. I think maybe a conversation of that nature happened Lenja because like I said, dala bodli mbepo. Dala bamba mathambo, dala vuma ayethi mula sineyifinyana sa Satani. The ancestors e khalantsa bwale tsona from his mama's womb. So, because he is this like hard knock occult practitioner and nakona akokho akokho prolific he's not even that high level, but you know, you don't have to be a high level satanic priest to get to lay jane's and lay jones on the left and on the right of you even amateur witchcraft works on what do you call this amateur witchcraft works on 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 people out there that have no holy spirit yeah very well with that uh, being a thing i then get oh yeah before even the the, the dream and the vision before ke ya ke ke buwa le msadi o wa haye laying on a bed looking all licentious this dude rocked up in the room sat down like a stone piece of cigarette that's what i called him in the early part right he sat down and basically was like nina as aba fazi kuluman and what you come to agree on me grand guy why because he knew what me guy is in me in the back end he knew he had manipulated things in the spirit realm to make tina as aba fazi to agree so he rocked up introduced us to each other and was like do your thing because me nanya zuguti say ni plan ne uguti ni amgele into engi yo yo guys find the whole scene unfolds with the empathy me hugging the woman then i then something causes this woman to suddenly die she suddenly dies 
and I catch wind of Indabego Tushonil. And as soon as I catch wind of Indabego Tushonil, even though I don't like the progression from her being alive to her being dead was just so sudden and so immediate. I did not, however, think deeply about it in my dream. All I knew was that Ushonil, the manch, she's gone. So because Wohambile, okay, get job. Now we can uh, see Hambe into Ikamba Long and into the sunset and just pierce into it. I then go and I join this, this Jabu dude. We hold hands and we out here are basically flying into the sunset in the name of Jesus. In my dream, we were now a Christian couple that was hot and feverish for the Lord. But guess who disappeared out of sight, out of mind? As soon as the mom died, Ubongan. Who's Bongani? Mtan. The adopted child or the child that this dude said I uh, basically Lomtana of course Ubiza Lomtulona Baba because it's all that he's ever known. The baby daddy Wanyamalela, he made like Houdini and just poof disappeared. So this kid has only ever known Jabu as daddy. Yeah. This kid disappeared no mawakon. Mwana o unya mezele mewa teingi. This child disappeared, now the mom. So the mom dies and then the kid vanishes from the scene such that a brand spanking new life is being commenced by Ujab. Now whoever this woman is, Ukarabu basically. A brand spanking new life is commenced by this Jabu dude. And I was like, manje, what happened to the child? My point exactly. Lenjale, ulase umtwana because umawa kona wa shon. I will say this again. Labantu abena ntroni po abena tando. I've been a dignity. I've been a virtue. I'm bella. No ma angashe evidence. Ngugu tigre shab. He only fetishized the fertility of this chick. He only fetishized her pregnancy. It was a fetish and never really true love. Um promisele that he will take care of him. Tana kona. It's like like you wanna hi. Zano wena if you are a baby daddy, ne? And a mewa ten wa choka fala. Of course, keba na ba ha oba choka mela. Even though kunzima now, you're a single dad, right? Yeah. This dude basically contracted no mawa kona such that once the mother was out the door the kid now was orphaned the kid now was orphaned even without a dad this dude ulashe umtwana so basically umtwana likely went to abazali by this chick the grandparents he's not my biological child evidencing that this dude was always just a fetishizer of the pregnancy of this woman this woman was right to essentially Ugumziba from the get very get go. And then this woman and this dude started a brand spanking new life together. When I woke up from that nightmare, I was like, I God, what kind of rubbish is this? And God was like, that's just the thing, my daughter. This thing. This nonsense. This thing. We are funa manji. Let me explain to you, Grandshap, what in the world is going on. Lenja Lena, However, like I said, so no way. Hapolos, Maorata Kerek, Orata Prospect Kerek, Orata Idea Kerek, Marahara Timudim. Nswanyana has been kicked, it come again, I'm got granny like a bat out of hell, and has happened upon because of Tandi Sonto, Christian content online. And then one day, as he was trudging through the streets of uh, YouTube, he then traipsed into my ministry. What decided Alenda Lena in all of his like interrogation while his wife Archer has cancer? In his interrogation of this situation of getting a second wife while Umfaz Wakona Shon, Wahepenisha Ncha Ehobulang upon Karabo's content. He happened upon my content. Right? Here's a man. Walo ya like no man's business. Utukamullo was at that. So every so often he listens to Christian content. that has been diagnosed with cancer. He then told this woman, I want another wife while you are dying because I got needs. Selfish, greedy, balloon, baboon. Yeah. Introduced a couple of ladies to a woman that he manipulated spiritually to accept. Polygamy. One of these women, indeed, was empathetic towards her. And because of that empathy, from what the Lord is now telling me is the present status quo of this guy, the present one. He wants to expedite the death of his wife using a human sacrifice spell. That's why in my dream she suddenly died, even though there was still a lot of time left. 
Lenja would not have murdered his wife if Meganga Chahanga Ugyo Chata. The reason why I was represented as that other woman in my dream was because now he has made a decision. Protect our girls. It, it's just not happening sufficiently enough. He has imagined Uguti Yimike that needs to go Minangyobumfazwa call. Ngoba Angisho Messia Mong Hadi Messia Sela Moya O Hala Lela Ora Tabuzalwani like no man's business. Mara asim zalwan. Lim sadwa tengi even though na ye uya sonta na lenja aga pulusa angwangoba if she was born again she would not have been taken by Izuna Mi and Jengaga. Do you understand? So this thing of Njefela professing Jesus on your lips while your hearts are far from him, you're fornicating, falling pregnant, eyes on the season it in Nangan, Moba no tatwa izunami, ezinja, ezi pogela as I'm still thinking feeling in gati they're gonna exalt themselves above the most high and be like God. Do I give you? I get old cry as lawyer about to buy pizza and bazalwan. So on and I'm just a tough stain. He thinks Uguti, everybody else that capitulated to Uso Sariwake, low hanging fruit, but Ukarabo, a little bit of a tougher case. Marang zom zom corner na, zom zamang zom shalang experiment. Ujabwa corner no. So a couple of months ago, maybe weeks angazi nini, he finds my content, listens to me long enough, puts his ear to the ground to realize Uguti yo, she's the rescue case, typical. She is Cinderella, this one. She's the kind of my size. Give my size, eh? Baba rather the cheriban nidang rescuing. This pregnant woman, oh, kabwe, baby daddy, rescue case. They like them like little rescue dogs. They want to bring them into the house, de tick them, de fly, de worm them, de parasite them, vaccinate them, hey, okay? put tags on them, fluff up their collar, take them to the grooming parlor, chop up their hair a little bit, yeah, feed them until the dog actually be looking nice and healthy. And then you get to it in a lazy eye because it's a Give the previous owner. And then when you've got visitors, you're like, oh, look at this puppy that I found on the street with a lazy eye. It was nearly dying. It was coughing up blood. But I took it to the vet. I detected it. I remue. I, 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 I dewormed it. I de etc. I saved this dog from the precipice of death because me, I'm into rescue animals. But instead of it being a rescue animal, a rescue puppy, it's a rescue freaking human being. Batanda abantu. Abazo rescue. Eh. Hebanza we o. Do I look me nine got ticket rescue poor phone? Do I look like I haven't been rescued? Ebanda, Uso Manda Jesus Christ, his name is called Savior for a reason because he's the one that ought to be rescuing animals on the earth, otherwise known as deadbeat human beings, born dead in trespasses and sins and sins that our parents conceive us, us whose hearts are deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. We are the rescued animals. We the ones that cannot do anything good. No, not one. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And then the Lord has to die for us. And our will be taking us to the grooming parlor, removing ticks and vaccinating us from all different kinds of future diseases and then feeding us until we are nice and healthy. And then the father is like, this is your inheritance, the bride. What the wago praying about how it is that you rescued a pet, but this time around, kichir. And happy, every so often, manilwa, malin, manilwa. You then tell this woman, if it wasn't for me, you would not have gotten out of this. If it wasn't for me, ning tole o kabisi le in reagini, ufunu gugu tengi sumdana, in adoption, ning tole baby dating and andabanawe, ngan chata, unazong tele. Type of person to highlight all the things against the lezona, so you must just take his nonsense in in your stride. Yeah. Mm. They like rescue animals. Baba rata bali joalo. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So here's this dude looking at me like I'm a freaking rescue animal, like I'm some wet dog that's about to pass away from pneumonia. And he's out here lifting me up and curing me with antibiotics and everything at the veterinarian because I am now a, a newfound, largely beautiful, um, thoroughbred poodle or a thoroughbred Dalmatian. I'm a hella expensive dog. One rescuer, so you can say Pegamina, Pegamina, Pegamina. Pear like a rescue one of the baddest rescue animals in the game. It was not a mixed breed; it was just perfect, a diamond in the rough. Got by Megan Atan Dragibo, but Tagata, cause it was the Adams freaking family. Yeah. Oh, be ufitinga ro ocho the perfect rescue animal. Cause the first one, out here came down with cancer. Because those are the kinds of people to think that a person comes down with cancer. Yeah. The first rescue animal came down with cancer. How did it, it go sick on me? The glamorous life of me rescuing a woman out of nothing. Aye, suga. I can't work that when this woman is out here dying for three years. When are you going to bother exactly? Mm. Media call on wife, I got body. 
finds Karabo while his wife is en route eternity. Do you understand? I still believe from what I saw in my dream right now that that woman is still alive. Maralenja Lena. I get ready to read the Haizirin. That came and went were too shallow. Then there was one that was prepared to take this in the in the in the stride, but then got cold feet because of Umfazi basically having empathy towards Umfaz Wakon. That dream uh, was a combination of not just uh, some other woman, but me too, right? There was a woman that was prepared to embrace this in their stride, but then got cold feet because the lady, you know, uh, made her feel sad. I, on the other hand, have got all these rules, I wish. Kim Zalwan, he thinks of me as a rescue pet. Yeah. I'm a Christian. So he's like, nah, I got that down. Kim Zalwan Lin, whatever, our lawyer. Utsriani, Haum Zalwani, Marawat Eva, Wa Forster, okay? God, do I all know that I got all these specifications, things that I got going down for myself, I care. And let me media thing, the wife, she was young, very young, like 18, 19, 20, maybe even 17. So I don't know how old this dude is. And I already got issues, Nama Gen Z. Y'all know that all these Gen Z's that are all up in my girl trying to come up my skirt. Langbora. When I was a kid, I had a crush on Fat Joe. When I was just in high school, this dude was like in his 30s. Yeah, it's okay as a little girl to have a crush on a geezer. Mara, if Fat Joe were to out your ang Feria, ang Jela. And then me, comma him because I've got a big fat crush on him. On that day, he's irresponsible, like it. Yeah. So just because I've got a crush on an older guy, does not mean this thing can happen. So, mind you, if Fat Joe would have been the irresponsible party, Fat Joe or Amelo Momohul, yeah, I used to have a massive crush on him as a teenager when he was in his 30s. Mm. If that Joe had shot at me, even I would have considered him irresponsible. Like, yeah. Oh, even I would have, you know. No man in a crush in a game again. Bottom line is on that. They've gone na obuti. And uh, just because Omohoto only ripped six, pa six pack at the age of 37 does not make it okay for you to be with a 16 year old girl in high school. No man is irresponsible enough to have a crush on you. Very well. Well, now that the tables have turned, where it is that I am now the 40 year old in question with some teenage boys having a crush on me. I'm not gonna make like Emmanuel freaking Macron. Or rather, you are not going to be Emmanuel freaking Mac Macron, the French president. As you're marrying your school teacher, you know how his wife is 25 years older than him and she met him and they met each other when he was just 15 and she was a teacher in his school on her foot. And now today, the French president is married to his mama. Yeah, I'm not going to make like Emmanuel Macron's wife and see a viability in being a 15 year old. It's just never going to happen. The person here that is irresponsible is the Dumbo that goes and fraternizes Nomtwana. Because Abantwana and Abantwana are sure. They are children. They will eventually snap out of Oksanga Nagwabo. Children are like that. They snap out of stuff somewhere along the way. So, Manjewe, now, when you are exploiting the season of unsnapping out of when you are exploiting the season of, of, of crazy in a teenager's life as a 40 year old woman looks of shame in the street when you are walking downtown Johannesburg because you're a pedophile I'm not a pedophile just because you have a crush on me because I'm like fat Joe now I'm the older person that some little child in high school thinks is hot I recognize that the responsibility lies in me to go and reject as I'm a Gen Z. I see it, right? Because he's responsible. I am the one here that's like the school teacher, wahoba hot, wahoba sexy, that has some little child spazzing over her. Mara, just because you are a student in my class, I am going to tell you, please stop breathing down my neck when I'm marking your paper because you're flirting with me as a teacher. It's inappropriate. Go report shooting little love letters i'm going to report them to the principal's office because literally the burden of proof lies on the older person in the room you might as well be in diapers I'm not gonna do it. I get lots of in the company of a man that's only going to pop his first wrinkle in the next 20 years. I'm not doing it. God, I'm not doing it. So I don't know if I'm not doing it. Ellie Jolie is a 17 year old pregnant girl or a 20 year old pregnant girl that 
allowed herself to marry some 40 year old dude because me or if lomuntu is just 24 25 just like the wife and feels in that mina because i look 24 25 the irresponsible version i don't know what's going on you've got a double whammy in that ang funa ma jenzi ang funa bantu ana. I don't want a person that is younger than. Wait again. I don't want a man that's younger than me. But I would accommodate a dude that's perhaps thirty six, not thirty six, kingy, thirty seven, th nah, thirty eight. Basically two years, no more than that, younger than me. And even that is uh, that that leg room or that concession. I only made it because I'm so old now. But back in the day, men yagi milang to anendo day younger because men kingy they mature so slow in comparison to women that it's detrimental when you are to be accommodating a younger man because you don't know what in the world you're getting into it's bad enough having a man 10 years older than you and yet he's still acting like a baby so manja when you're gonna go your land that's still with like you know wet behind his ears that's younger than you you're setting yourself up for failure as a woman especially in this 2024 look i don't doubt that there are men who are mature beyond their years but largely the grand majority of them are four years junior in how they develop up here in these streets and how they think about the world in comparison to women their exact age so it's just detrimental for a woman to like largely you are putting yourself in hot water as a woman when you date a younger guy largely not all the time there are some very mature young men out there but they are the exception and not the norm so I give at least younger men for that reason. Because already men are just a lot less mature than women at the exact same age. I want an older guy. But because I am the age that I am, I've made leg room for two years maximum younger than me. So I would draw out with an 86 guy. A dude that is two years younger than me. Maroska don't borrow beyond that. So I'm going to say if this is okay. Una 38 up. And so that's why I have Shaganga.